Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. If you watch my channel regularly, you may know that I do have a bit of a soft spot for clockwork items. And quite like clockwork bath time toys. So I picked this one up today, uh, 25 pence. Uh, it's got some numbers on there, but it doesn't have a manufacturer's name. Oh, I can see in there it says made in China, but that's about it. Uh, nothing on the bottom of the feet. So, obviously it's a wind-up duck. Seems a little bit stiff. So I should take it apart and see if I can lubricate anything. Uh, not so long ago, I bought this one in another charity shop. Uh, that one comes from Morrison's supermarket. That one seems more or less okay. Might see if I can lubricate that one as well. The uh, reason I say lubricate is I recently bought some silicon oil, which I thought I might be able to use for lubricating Rubik's cubes and that sort of thing. So I might try it on here just to try it because I've got it. Oh, there's some more numbers there. Uh, four, seven, nine, one, oh, three, two thousand and nine. So if that's right, if that's the date, this one's is that nine years old, more or less. Right, well we'll take it apart because it looks like it's got plenty of plenty of screws. One, two, three, four, five screws. hole in his bottom. Okay, what have we got? We've got a bit of foam to stop him sinking. And we got the motor. Well that seemed to spin quite alright with no power on it. It does seem to be mostly plastic gears, which is why I was thinking I might be able to spray it with silicon oil. And just looking at these bits here, just an extra bit of detail, that's the sort of ratchet effect. That's a bit of a springy plastic that I can just about move with my fingers. And inside the wheel there's like a star shape that those will dig into, but if you force it, it'll just click over. So that saves you breaking the mechanism. If you're a, a, one of those people who likes to force things. Can I get that back in there? Or is that upside, no, that's upside down. That's what I'm doing. So that would line up there, so I should be able to force it. Can I hold it still? Oh, I can't even do it with my fingers. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so if you force it against the spring, it clicks over rather than breaking the gears. So we won't lose the bits for that, but I might as well take the other one apart as well. If I'm going to spray a bit of oil inside. Not sure, I might have done a disassembly on this one already in the previous video, but I don't think I showed it in the water. I'm only going to put them in the kitchen sink 
even though they're bath time toys, I very rarely run a bath. I usually have a shower. I think most people do nowadays. glue. Maybe I didn't do a disassembly on it. There we go, it's coming now. There we go. So yeah, that's plastic gears in there as well ends up with that little um, what do we call that? I've forgotten the word now. I'll have to write it in afterwards, won't I? Cam, I suppose. But that turning round is converted by that slot into up and down motion. So if I can get it on there. So if I hold that still. Is it going to turn? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll give them both a squirt of silicon oil and see what happens. Probably jam them up solid, wouldn't it? But that's what I'll do. I'll get some cloth. I won't do it in front of the camera. And then we'll put them in the water. I've just noticed that's got a buoyancy bit in there as well. To stop it sinking. I wonder if they're made by the same people. They look very similar, don't they? In thickness of plastic and these white buoyancy aids. Well, again, it says made in China in there. I reckon they might be made by the same company. Well, I've sprayed them. Seems okay. So we'll go and try them in the kitchen sink. Which one first? We'll try the duck. <laughs> oh, it is moving, but oh, not quite as well as I hoped. A little bit underpowered. I think the principle's all right. Little bit disappointing. I did hope that might have been better. You can see it. It can work. 
but not so much when it's got the extra pressure of the water. Oh well. I think I gave it my best shot, lubricating it first. How about this guy? That was better, wasn't it? So, we'll call that one a success and that one disappointing. <laughs>